Greetings, everybody, and welcome to my video. Uh, uh, tonight I wanted to do a follow-up on the Iconic Volute. Um, what I did was start working on the spiral. Uh, that would be the elevation, if uh, this is the plan. And I wanted to uh, show everybody how how to do that. It's uh, not really hard. What I did was I come in here and and I divided the volute up into uh, 15 degree segments. Okay, so um, the important thing is they all have to be even. Okay, so and another thing that I did is I turned I turned the volute uh, 45 degrees from when I drew it. As you can see there, my paper is now turned at 45 degrees so uh, and I did that so that this point right here this line right here is my center line down through this volute here let me line this paper up here okay so this is now my center line down through the, the spiral okay now this this line right here is the original center line with this one right here okay so actually this one right here is the original center line what what would be this I just turned the thing sideways and I did that for a reason because I wanted the bottom the the inside volute ends right here or is it right here yeah, the inside volute ends right here, and the outside volute ends right here. So I have this space right here. Let's see, from here, uh, yeah, it goes from here. I gotta look at this, not through the lens here. Okay, the inside or the outside volute ends right here, and the inside volute ends right here. Okay, so when I draw it. I'll have that thickness of the end of the volute down at the bottom of the thing here. Now when I started laying this out here and then I noticed that I I skipped the line right here and when I was doing this I got this crappy T-square right here and it covers everything up. When I come through to project my lines down it covers everything up and I accidentally skipped the line now the the important thing is if you have it all um, you know evenly divided here um, you can use like this is graph paper here you can use the square distances in here because they're all even for your height so you can make your height whatever you want as long as your graduations for each for each thing is the same see now if you come down here I wanted to have a specific height in here and when I did it it didn't quite come out the same as what's on the graph paper it was a little bit bigger so I went ahead and laid it out on there and just ignored the graph paper but you can just use the graph paper if uh, you know you, you just need an even distance of spacing okay so since I orientated that way this would be like line one right here and that would be this point right here that's one okay so this point right here would be two. Oh, by the way ignore this line right here when I started laying them out uh, I don't know what happened I have I was using this uh, little uh, compass right here and apparently I had my line set right after I got them laid out and I was looking at it I was like that's not right so I had to go back through and and uh, do this. So the one with the check mark right here next to it is the correct angled line. So that's this one right here. Um, and so this would be one. This would be two. This would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as you count them all the way around, count them all the way in, this one here winds up to be 66 lines. So you would have 66 lines evenly spaced 
on your paper this way in your elevation because we're looking at it like this actually so if that's the plan this is elevation so you would need 66 lines this way evenly spaced to get that now you can put them 66 lines a sixteenth of an inch apart if you want it'll just be short and fat uh, this one here is roughly uh, there it was a little over a quarter of an inch when I laid this one out so um, and actually the the lines on here are just less than a quarter of an inch and they're not metric I don't know uh, who decided what the graph size was for that piece of paper but it doesn't equal anything in my architect scale or this uh, crappy little t-square that I have here no, it doesn't match any of them but it's an equal spacing and that's all that's required really um, to get this so and that's all you do is project the line now now my t-square doesn't reach so I take I take this uh, square right here and uh, line it up with the points that I want it to be on. I have to move it over here since I've only got one hand, but you know I can line it up with this point right here, right here, and then project the line over to where it has to be at. So you can come across the top here and mark this like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would you'd have a representation of what these lines are on your elevation and then you wouldn't skip one like I did because I didn't mark anything I just started I just started doing it but um, as you see it starts out as a point here and then it comes and it gets fat right there because you have your thickness and then when it comes back to center it goes back to a point and then it comes back out again like right here it comes out of there, it goes into a point, and then splits again, comes back at the thickness. Now remember, as our thickness goes in, or as we go in to the center of the volute, the distance gets smaller in here. So, and that's what it just keeps doing, it just keeps crisscrossing. So it starts here at the beginning, it's both points are together, and then you get your thickness of your volute line. Or your iconic volute and then it comes back to center because we're looking at it at 90 degrees you know that like that is if that's the plan then this is the elevation so um, and that's what that would look like and that is the spiral uh, for this iconic volute so I hope uh, try to get this in here a little bit better so I got to do it sideways but that is what that's what it's supposed to look like um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and if anybody wants to try to draw one go for it it's pretty easy it's easy to do the spiral after you've done the volute and the hardest part about the iconic volute is the center here because the you have a lot of lines in there I counted them in there I think there's over like 20 some lines inside there all crammed in there so that's a one inch diameter a hole right there you know that's the center diameter that I started with was one inch and you know if you try to go anything smaller than that it's just so hard to work with um, that it makes it next to impossible now I'm thinking there's got to be a way that I can use these same squares, the same pattern here, to come in and make it smaller and probably run it all the way into the center. Uh, but uh, I don't know because uh, it kind of goes down to pretty much a point. So the line it would be probably just be a scroll because the distance in here is pretty much going down to nothing. Now if I continue that on it'll be really thin and it'll probably just look like one kind of a scroll there but there is a square spiral in there um, you know I could probably uh, use one of my uh, uh, circle templates that's a regular circle template this is an elliptical hole template here 
it does a uh, different angle of, of holes um, like what they would look like from a different from a different angle so it's got like 15 degrees there and 30 degrees 45 degrees and 90 degree holes like if you was to look at it from an, an angle so I, I could probably uh, use that or my French curve Let's see what did I do with that this makeshift table <laughs> but, uh, and then here's my French curve here I could probably use my French curve to do the same thing uh, that's what I use to get uh, the arcs in here I just come in I went actually to like I would start with this one here and then place you know put my pencil right on that point place the the uh, French curve up against it and line it up and then slide it either way either forward or backwards so that the next line you know the lines lined up through the whole thing now that's a little crooked there because it was actually something like uh, something like that so I don't know, I place my pencil in here and just slide that over it needs to go up like that somewhere in there so now I'd have to slide it this way because I got too much of an arc in it so I'm kind of sliding it toward the back I'm trying to I'm hitting everything here and it won't let it move okay so really gingerly in here so that's pretty much where I'd have it at right in there somewhere but I need two hands to do it I can't do it with while I'm holding this but basically you would then you would draw your line right across there so you just slide it back just kind of roll it and then the same thing with the inside I think I I don't know if I use that one and then I just slid it over when I did the next one or I flipped it like that yeah I think I did that and then I picked up from from here to here on this side right here and then I had it like this and I just lined it up in there and I went from from here to here and then that's how I got this little arc shape and then I just continued that all the way around um, it's not a little practice it, it, you know you can do it as long as you don't skip no lines <laughs> you know because that you can see like right away that there's a mistake in the layout after I got down to it, I was like, oh, man, so I just kept on going. So I figured, because I figured I'd show, you know, uh, what it's like. You know, when you just miss one, it really throws it out from the rest of it. You can really pick it out from there. But, you know, I just wanted to show how that all worked. Um, but it's, uh, it's not hard to make the spiral after you get the uh, iconic volute so that would be the iconic spiral for the iconic volute and like I said as long as these these uh, angles in here are are all the same the distances in here should all be the same um, and the more more graduated it is the more accurate your arc will be so like this is uh, every 15 degrees in here this yeah, you know, is every 15 degrees in here so if you want to uh, say seven and a half degrees in there then you would have like uh, 118 or 100 and that would be 66 times 2 so uh, that'd be like what 136 Oh, I tell you, I can't think anymore. Get my little calculator out here. It's 366 times 2. It's 132. So that would, then you would have 132 lines equally spaced uh, for your, your uh, elevation. 
so um, and that's that's how that works so um, hopefully uh, someone out there uh, gives it a try and uh, lets me know how it come out if they have any problems um, you know they can let me know I, I think I've been getting uh, all my mail and everything so you know if you have a problem with something you know uh, send me a message you know just write a comment on the video and I'll get back with you and, and see if you know I can help you because it's really like I said the hardest thing is is laying this out in here all those little points in there and then you know you just strike your compass and just work your way around so like this piece of this square right here where this compass mark is is for this arc from here to here and then vice versa you know it's the same way all the way around you know it's the, like the opposite one and you just keep going round and round and round until you get your spiral the way you want it or you know your iconic volute because like I said you can keep going out bigger with it like I did I went out one row bigger than what you would get just drawing it you know the way I told you in the previous video so uh, but you know like I said you can keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger and have the thing just gigantic if you wanted to so um, well I guess I rambled on enough I hope you have a wonderful day peace